Yeah, I'm Amy Bradley. Um, my little boy is Aidan um, and he was diagnosed with autism um, just before his fourth birthday. He started the school um, in reception, so um, just before he was five um, and it's the first school that we came to. He came out of a um, special needs nursery in Stockton where we lived previously um, and came here for his first year of school. Well, to be honest, we'd lived in Stockton and none of those schools um, that were available to us um, were appropriate for Aidan's needs, we didn't think. Um, there was one school that didn't have places that would have been the most appropriate. Um, and when we came to the conclusion that there, there weren't any and they came back to us and said, have you thought about the uh, North East Autism Society School, which we'd never ever heard of. Um, so we came and had a look around and were amazed. We were like, why has nobody told us about this place? Um, so yeah, we, it was just, we were desperate to get him in here as soon as we saw it. There's been a massive, massive improvement in um, everything across the board really. When he first started, I remember the first Christmas he was here and he got Christmas cards from his little friends in his class and I was saying, oh, I wonder if he'll ever be able to write his name and because he wasn't, he wasn't um, reading or writing when he started. Um, and now it's, it's amazing um, the progress that he's made. Um, he, can, he can write, he writes letters home every week so that we see what he's doing and um, it's brilliant. Oh, so many, so many proud moments because even I think as a, as a parent of a child with autism there's so many proud moments because the things that other people would class to be small things that they either overcome or that they do is a big achievement to us. So kind of when he, when he first stayed for a school dinner, that was a massive achievement um, because, you know, his, his, what he eats is really, really uh, limited at home, but he will do other things at school. Um, so, so small things like that. What, what I love about um, the school, I love the fact that it's autism specific. That is something that we were looking for specifically in a school for Aidan, um, staff being specifically trained in autism and not just um, general um, additional needs. Um, so that is a, is a massive one. Um, but also the fact that the class sizes are small um, so that the, the children can get the, um, the individual plan that they need. Also, it's very student-centred, so whatever they need, they kind of change things around to be able to, to give them that. They're really supportive to us as parents. Um, I can come in and generally do quite a lot with things that I need help with, things that I need support with, things that maybe need reinforcing at school that I'm trying to do at home. And, and the, the teaching assistants and the staff are, are so... Um, open to to doing that and to helping with that it's it really makes life easier but for for autism in in general it's so important because they're all they're all so different they might be under the same umbrella but um, each child is is so different and I've seen that come into the come into the school and bringing Aidan and picking them up each day and seeing all the different students that are at school um, and there's just it's just I guess that's why it's called a spectrum, but it's just so vast. Um, and, the, and that's where the, the specifically trained staff, I think, are necessary in, the, in educating Aidan because it's the, it's the best place for him to be in our eyes as a family.